What's up, gang? It's Willie Rebuild back with another one, baby. Yes, sir. As you can see on the old engine stand, I got the LT mode in, baby. That's right. I got it in. It was complete. I done already cheated on y'all a little bit and started breaking it on down. Took the heads off. Took all the DOD stuff out of it. Uh, getting ready to take all this shit off the front. All that got to go. Can't really do nothing with that. Um, he going to want AC in the car. So I'm going to have to change all the bracketry, bracketry, brackets, however you want to say it, on the motor. That's right. Gotta get all that off of there so I can set it up the Willy Rebuild way and get it to look and work like I needed to look and work and function. But as you can see, engine looked pretty good. It was a low mile engine. I think it had like 30,000 miles or something like that on it. Got the engine and the trans is a 6.2, as you can see. Got the HP transmission sitting right here. Um, got my Circle D converter to go in there. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all something about these here. And this is just my opinion. Some people, they might not like it, but I'm gonna give y'all my personal opinion on the Gen 5 LT motors when you trying to do a swap. This engine right here to do a swap, um, and I'ma put it on a dyno because I'ma I'm a I'ma I'm uh I'm getting ready to put a cam in here. So this is gonna be a 6-2 DOD delete cam only no head work with a tune and this right here is a 376 old board 30 over cam cnc heads fast intake circle d converter transmission all that there with a tune so what we gonna get to see in real time see this ain't the stuff that y'all be seeing on these other channels where they putting the engine on a dyno and all on the engine dyno we gonna put this monte carlo on a chassis dyno and we gonna put the impala on the chassis dyno and we gonna see how much more horsepower i wish i had an ls3 i wish i had an ls3 so I can make it, uh, so I can make it kind of even, but fuck it. We just going to take this 6.0 since that's what we got with CNC heads, cam, fast intake. This 6.2 going to be cam only, no head work with a stock intake. And we going to see. How much horsepower, how much more horsepower we going to get out of this 6.2 Gen 5 motor versus this 6.0 LS motor? And is this going to be worth the amount of money that you're going to spend to do a swap on this? Because to swap one of these Gen 5 motors is not cheap, gang. It's not all this old hocus pocus shit what you be seeing on youtube what people do with this ls shit you ain't about to do that with this the tune is higher the credits to do the tune is higher the parts some of them triple in price you're not gonna find the parts anywhere and this engine is much more expensive to do a swap on than a ls motor in fact a gen 4 a Gen 4 LS motor gonna cost you more to swap than a Gen 3 motor. 
that's just what it is. The newer the engine, the more you're going to spend to do the swap. So what I want to show y'all is before you go run out there and think you're going to, you know, get this motor here and you're going to get that much more power and bang for your buck, you might want to stay tuned and keep watching the process of this build to see if that's actually the truth. And oh yeah, if you think you're gonna take that big motherfucker and stick it in a G-body and everything gonna be all good, nah, you're gonna have a whole nother thing coming. This hill gonna have to go unless you're gonna cut the flow and all that. And most people ain't gonna wanna do that. So what I'm getting ready to do now, gang, is uh, I need to take the oil pan off right quick. I'm getting ready to take all this shit off because all this shit got to go. I'm not using the compressor. I'm not using the water pump. The only thing I'm using off this motor is the crank pulley and the alternator. The rest of all this goof ass shit got to go. So let me start taking all that off and then I'm going to cut y'all back on, gang. Got the LT, baby. Stay tuned with a rebuild on the move. That's right. That's right. I'm about to get ready to show y'all what the other people don't want to show y'all. They show y'all the complete, they show y'all the process after it's done. They don't show you the process in between. So stay tuned and I'm going to show y'all the full process on this LT swap, baby. Let me take this stuff off and I'm going to cut y'all back on. All right, gang. So after a short time, we back. I done went ahead and took this goof ass oil pan off with all this extra stuff that we don't need. I done went ahead and pulled the accessory drive off. We are not gonna use that either. The only thing we gonna run from our accessory drive is the pulley, the alternator, and the starter that's it everything else is gone bye bye we're not gonna be using none of that on this bill here we're gonna be running our morosso oil pan as you can see this one we're gonna be going with on our lt swap the morosso oil pan um i ordered this kit through BRP Hot Rods, the Morosso oil pan, engine mounts, BRP, engine mounts, cross member, uh, and mid link headers that I'm still waiting on to come in, gang. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna just mock my oil pan up on here. I'm just trying to get all this stuff off of here what I'm not gonna be using, gang. So, I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, mock my oil pan up on here. Um, the LT stuff on the oil pan, it don't use a gasket. It used the Permatex, the gasket maker. The oil pan is like that. The real time, the uh, timing cover is like that. And as you can see right here, your rear seal cover is the same way. The only thing that use a gasket is your head gasket, uh, your valley cover, and your valve covers. Everything else is assembled with Permatex from the gas from the factory, and your water pump use gaskets. But everything else is Permatex. That's how they come from the factory. And that's how we gonna put it back. So let me get my oil pan mocked up on here. And then I'll go ahead and cut y'all back on. I should have pulled the tripod out, but I already had took the heads off because I've been busy and I got a video that I'm gonna make for y'all and let y'all see what I be doing in my off time. I'm not really off, but when I'm not over here, I got a video that I'm putting together
for y'all to show y'all what's been going on, what's been the delays on the videos and stuff like that there. But don't worry because I'm wrapping all that up. Y'all will see that in a video and we're going to be focusing on what we got going on over here at Area 51 and with the swaps. So let me go ahead and mock that all pan up, see how it look, and then I'm going to cut y'all back on, gang. All right, gang, we back. Went ahead on and grabbed the old tripod out of the truck. Grabbed the old tripod out of the truck for y'all. Let y'all hang out in the lab with Woody Rebuild for a little while. As y'all can see, it's nice and clean up in there. It's a low mile motor. 30,000 miles, right at 30,000 miles from a 2020 Camaro SS. I'm going to sit y'all back here while I go ahead and mock up this beautiful aluminum oil pan, sheet metal or whatever the fuck it is. That's right. <clears throat> right now we just mocking it up so there's no need to put no seal on it just mocking it up going through the boxes making sure that everything is everything and we got everything that we need to get the job done, gang. So y'all, y'all stay, y'all stay tuned. Watch with the rebuild. With the rebuild, gonna teach you something. We gonna do all that talk. The proof is in the pudding. That's right. The proof is in the pudding, and. We're moving on to bigger and better things, gang. We're moving on. My boy told me, with a rebuild, a LS ain't nothing but the new 350. The LT is the new LS. Okay, so we might we're gonna have to start we gonna have to start doing some LT swap then. That's right. That's right, gang. Y'all see it looking pretty on now. Just mocking it up. I wanna get as much as that big bonky stuff off of there as I can. And as y'all can see. It's a nice situation, much shallower. Um, the the sunk part of the pan is further to the back to give us the clearance we gonna need to drop this off in the old 72 and pound. That's right. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this motor back over. And what we'll do tomorrow is we'll go ahead and um we'll go ahead and start stuffing our cam in it, stuffing the cam in it. Um, I'm gonna call a customer tonight so we can get the brackets on order. So far, I got everything to sit it in the car, so. We're gonna go ahead and get those brackets ordered. His accessory brackets for his alternator, power steering pump, and his AC. That's right, we're gonna have AC on the LT Swap 2 game. That's right. So, enough talking that I did all what I can do today, and all I'm gonna do today. And uh, 
we're going to get ready to start doing the assembly. It's Willie Rebuild bringing y'all the secrets. This is not a LT, baby. This is not a LS. This is a LT. You see them on YouTube, but they're not showing you how to do it. They're not showing you the process. It's Willie Rebuild coming here again to show you, the guy at home, how to do it, if you should do it, and if you shouldn't do it. But either way, I'm showing you how to do it. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. It's Willie Rebuild over and out, baby.